Bearing in mind that today is April 1st, we don't think this is an April Fool's joke. Jen Psaki's apparently got a new job she's gonna be transitioning to pretty soon. She's apparently going to be dumping Joe Biden to go for a more fun position. Specifically, she's apparently gonna be leaving the Biden administration to work for MSNBC, where she will apparently serve as a host and an on air expert. The departure first reported by Axios is expected this spring. And here's how it's gonna look in practice. Saki will host a show for MSNBC on NBC Universal streaming platform Peacock. She'll also be a part of live programming on MSNBC's cable network as a voice on different shows. But she will not be hosting the 9 p.m. hour replacing Rachel Maddow, which had been speculated. So we have concerns about things like conflict of interest as well, but let's focus on this first. Has she done on it? Like, I understand that she talks to the press and everything, but isn't it kind of amazing that not only is she ditching the politics to just do a show or whatever, but immediately into being a host? It's not the normal thing like you bring in Mick Mulvaney to be an on air contributor or something. She's just straight up going to be hosting a show right off the bat. Yeah, but it's on Peacock, so nobody's going to watch it. Hey, oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. That was I have no idea how successful I mean, it is. That being said, give me give me a job, you guys. I will I will do content for you that no one will watch any day. <laughs> um, but for now, I'm just stuck with these incredible people. Uh, no, this is it's just so it's so of course like like where is Jenk to say that we need that like this entire idea that like oh yeah you know journalists well you know they really have to protect their access you know because they need access to the White House and you have to. Uh, you know, walk this fine line. No, there is no more division. You know, when like the weirdos say MSDNC, like, please give them a reason not to tweet that all the time. <laughs> like, it is feeling like MSDNC. You've got Simone Sanders, who worked on the Kamala Harris campaign and the Biden campaign on Peacock again and MSNBC. And now Jen Psaki, like, where is the dividing line? Why is it always a politician's child or uh, someone who just straight up came from the White House? Come on, any kind of independence. Hello, fifth estate, anyone? Yeah. Oh, no, States no, you expensive. have to realize the dividing line is right around the bank. Right. Uh, you know, it's like they're figuring the government will always be there. I can always come back, but hey, this check ain't gonna be here. So I might as well go ahead and get it. Um, yeah, and the thing that really kind of gets me, I think that people uh, under, they, they really just, they don't give it as much credit is, is how hard it is to host. Uh, you know, coming from a law firm, uh, having spoken oration and talked in court and done all these things on your feet, you are never prepared for hosting. Also being a legal analyst, totally different than hosting. You can talk about something all you want, but to be able to be a host, oh my God, she's gonna have a rude awakening and it's probably gonna be rough for a, a long, long while. Um, you know, but people wanna jump into things and see how it goes. And so I definitely wish her the best. Yeah. Well. Uh- Leading up to it, there's some concerns. Um, uh, not only like future concerns about w- what sort of coverage of the Biden administration do you think you're going to get on that show after this? But oh. we'll we'll get to that. Don't worry. For now, though, this is apparently a done deal. She's still working. Like she has to deal with these people. Is she what is she being tough on them? Is she or, or like if I could stop being sarcastic, is she giving them special access now? Like you cannot expect her to be unbiased about the people who are going to be signing her paychecks in a few months. So she was actually asked today about the possible conflict of interest, and here's how she responded. Is it ethical for you to continue conducting this job while negotiating? Uh, with the media? Well, um, I have always gone over and above the stringent ethical and legal requirements of the Biden administration. And I take that very seriously. And uh, as a standard for every employee of the White House, I have received rigorous ethics counseling, including uh, as it relates to any future uh, employment. Uh, I've complied with all ethics requirements and gone beyond and taken steps to recuse myself from uh, decisions as appropriate. Given the reports, which have now been confirmed by multiple media outlets, how can you continue to be an effective briefer if you do in fact have plans to join a media outlet? Well, I have nothing again to announce about any conversations or any future plans. Um, And at whatever time I leave the White House, I can promise you the first thing I'm going to do is sleep and spend time with my three and six year old who are my most important audiences uh, of of all. Um, But I would say, Kristen, that uh, again, I uh, have done uh, have taken the ethics, legal requirements uh, uh, to the highest uh, very seriously uh, in any discussions and any considerations about any future employment, just as any White House official would. And I've taken steps beyond that to ensure there's no conflicts. 
Yes, like it, you follow the ethical guidelines of the Biden administration. Is that supposed to make us feel better? You haven't addressed the fundamental conflict of interest of how you're supposed to be dealing with the press potentially for months, knowing that some of them are gonna be your colleagues and others are gonna be your competition in a few months. If that is actually allowed, all of what we just described under the Biden administration ethics guidelines, the issue isn't with your compliance with it, it's with the guidelines themselves. And then to, to hide behind the dual shields of your kids about them being the only audience that you care about. I'm very, very happy that you have kids. That is not our concern though. She said it was so much love in her in her voice. I'm my priority is uh, three and six. Yeah, oh, I love them very much. Uh, yeah. They drive me. They are her priority. Insane. We're talking about college funds. Come on. She's trying to get the money. She'd be about to be a legend at the bank. Let her go get her money, her dollars. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't have that big an issue with the whole conflict of interest, just because some of us can be addicted to just about anybody, and I'd like to think she can. I mean, so I, I just I really feel like she's going to uphold that. Interesting. I guess I think the follow up question for me is: So, do you promise to not have a back channel to the Biden administration once you are reporting on it, or yeah. if and when you're? And I mean, and the answer obviously is: Of course, of course, she'll have a back channel. Yeah. Right. Yep. She, she would a never relinquish. Channel. She's a front. I mean, I mean, but and the last thing I'll say is: I understand. Yes, this is this is the way the revolving door between politics and media. Uh, and corporations for that matter and lobbying works. I'm not going to pretend like I'm Lily White about that. Um, but at the same time, like uh, this is this is Trumpian. This is the kind of stuff that if it were shoe on the other foot and it was when Kaylee McEnany goes from Fox to the White House and then back, we were like, oh my God, you know, and all yep. the hashtag resistance people, oh no, that's such a conflict of interest. Look at what's going on now. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna hear that same critique? No. Maybe not. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, every one of the people that was tweeting about it, about Sarah Huckabee Sanders, or rightly about Kaylee McEnany, you're gonna be tuning in every day for those sake bombs. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.